Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial video thing, and this is part one of my SS Edmund Fitzgerald, and today's focus is of course the ship's draft, which is the red thing down there, the red section of the ship. Um, if you're going to be building this ship on the water, then in, well it depends really, because this ship is sort of in two phases, because she was a heavy cargo ship, so if, you, if you're going to represent the ship as she was fully loaded, then you're going to build the keel uh, 14 blocks below the water surface. And if you're going to make her slightly lighter, then it's up to you how high you want to build her. So between, say, 5 and 15 blocks, or 5 and 14 blocks would be fine below the surface. I'm going to build it below, well, I'm going to build it on dry land, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, and I've already laid the keel. The keel is already over in the distance there. And the keel is 354 blocks long. Okay, so that's the keel of the ship. The full length of the ship, when done, is 382 blocks. That's without the bowsprit, and the full width is 39 blocks. So I'll quickly look around the ship as it stands at the moment. Now I will point out I'm building this in my own colour scheme. I'm building the ship with a red concrete draft with a terracotta hull. Now uh, I'm, I'm doing this mainly because I want a, di a, a difference between the, the draft and the main hull. But if you want to build the ship in her official colours, which are sketchy at the best of times, then it's up to you. But uh, I'm going to build it in my own colour scheme and leave it up to you to build it in, like I say, the proper colours. So I'll just quickly look around the back of the ship here. So we've got the propeller down in the centre there, which is a much better propeller compared to before. And it don't look too bad. And the ship overall is quite a chunky one. So like I say, we're going to start with the red draft and we're going to start over on our keel. So we'll start on the front of the keel. Like I said, the keel is 354 blocks long. That's 354 blocks long. And we're going to start at the front of that. So keep the ship in view. And the bloody thing is just lit up for some reason. No, that's fine. Right, so there we are. Uh, so we're going to start down on our keel. And we're going to start with red, of course. So like I said, it's just the red draft for today. And I'm going to be using World Edit again. So we're going to start. Everything I build on the left, I'll just copy it over to the right with World Edit, okay? But everything is symmetrical on both sides. So we're going to start on the fourth block of the keel. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to build two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, five rows of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, and one more again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be five rows of nine. And then after that, you want two rows of eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then after that, you want a line of 124. So I build this freehand and I use the world edit to measure it. So you want 124. So like I say, I build it freehand and measure it when I get roughly near the end. So 124 is what we're looking for. And everything looks fine, or should be fine. Like I say, it's, it's not much to this ship. I mean, it's a hull with a deck house at each end, basically, and that's really all it is. But uh, the length is ridiculous. So, how far is that? That is uh, 130. So I've gone six blocks too far. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want one, two, four. So, there we are. That's 124. There we go, so that's that, and then we're going to curve back in towards the bow, uh, towards the, the stern keel. So at the end of the 1, 2, 4, we want uh, two rows of 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then two rows of 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then two rows of 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then two rows of 7. 
and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you should have nine blocks of the keel sticking out the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine. So that's nine blocks of the keel sticking out the back. So that is the full length well, of the base at the moment. So that's that. And what we're going to do now is <coughs> go back over to the row of one, two, four, and go to the back end of it. So we're back here. Here basically is the back of the one, two, four. And at the end we want to build out two. So go out two like that on top. And then we want to build forward 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then out 2, 1, 2. And then forward 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then up 2, 1, 2. And then 1 out, like so. And then we are. That just makes the hull slightly higher and slightly curvier and slightly wider as well. So it basically creates the curve of the hull. So that's the back end, and then we're going to go back to the front end now and do roughly the same sort of thing, but slightly different, if you know what I mean. So back to the row of 124 at the front end, and what we're going to do is go out two, one two, and then go back two, one two, and then out two, one two, and then so it's out two, back two, out two, and then up two, one two, and one, like that. So it should be sort of like that, in theory anyway. So what we want to do now is from this one block here to the one block sticking out the back end, we just build a line of blocks to connect them together. And it should all be fine, in theory. Like so, that line there. And then the next uh, two rows underneath, so these two blocks here, is build them all the way to the front end to the other row. I'm going to use weld edit for this one, otherwise I'll be here all day. So it's just another. There's two rows underneath the top one, up to that point there, and we we'll do set uh, two five one by uh, fourteen, I think. And there we go. And then the same with the, the bottom row, this row here. So we do the same thing. Build a line connecting to the other end, and it should all look fine and dandy when it's all done. Up to that. And there we go, that's those lines all done. So it should, in theory, look something like that. It looks a bit shit at the moment, but uh, trust me, it will look fine <laughs> when we're done. So what I want to do now is just build the same thing on the other side now. So like I say, everything is the same on both sides of the keel. It's symmetrical, okay? So I've done one side, so I'm just going to do the other side. So I'll just quickly use World Edit to copy-paste. So copy from there, and then copy it to the front end, and then flip it. And everything in theory should be fine. <sighs> bah, 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 bah. The problem with building such a long ship, it takes a long time to get from one end to the other. Stuff doing this on uh, survival, I'll tell you. Right, then we're at the front end, copy to there, and then what we do, we do copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. And it should look something like that. It's quite a hefty draft, as you can tell, it's quite a wide. Even though it's long, you know, it's quite a wide ship, so you'd probably think it an ocean line if you look at it like that. Anyway, now we need to add the signs. Now, if you're familiar with my builds in the past and the builds of recent, then you'll know that I use signs to label each section of the hull. So the centre section of the keel is section zero, okay? So that marks centre. And then either side of that, you want to put one, and then one that side, of course. And you build one, two... Hang on, how far out do we want to go? I think it's 19 rows we want to go out to. Uh, yeah, so it's 1 to 19, you want to go all the way out. So I just do this as quickly as I can. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Basically, when you get to the end, you need to go right the way up to the top here. So it's section 19 would be here. So that's 19 up there. And then... Uh, should I think now where's 18 go? 18 goes here I think and then 17 is there and then 16 is down there so basically it's 1 to 16 down to there and then 17, 18 and 19 are up there and it should look something like that. I'll just quickly pop over to the uh, build a second because I want to make sure I do this right 
Uh, just go over to our prototype. So, 19's up there, 18 and 17. I think that's right. Let's double check that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so 19, 18, 17, 16. Yeah, that's fine. So, I'll just quickly fill in the rest. So, that's 15 there. 15. 14. And you get, like I say, you get the idea all the way from one end to the other. And you do the same on both sides, and you do the same at the back as well. So you start at zero uh, at the stern, the back of the ship, and you just build the same the same thing that signs all the way out <coughs> to the um, from well, basically from zero to nineteen from front to back. And uh, everything should be fine. It just makes building slightly easier when I label everything and I, know, and I can uh, point everything out. So there we are. So that's one to one to nineteen on one side done. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to label everything else, or uh, well, jump cut, do everything else, and then I'll come back and we'll start building the hull upwards. So I'm um, back at a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've added all the signs to all sections of the ship. So this is the back end, of course. So here's the back end of the keel once again, zero to to whatever it was, nineteen. And uh, that's how that should look on the back. So that's all the signs done. So I'm going to fly back to the front end now. And then we can be begin building the hull upwards. Now this is going to take forever, but we should get there. But we're going to start at zero anyway. And work our way up to 19. And we shall see. So I'm just doing the red for the moment. So I'm going to start at zero. And then work our way up to 19. So at zero we want forward four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. Three again. One, two, three. And then four rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And up three, one, two, three, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and one, like so. So in total, the red section, including the keel, should be 15 in height. So I just measure that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, that's fine. So it's 15 in height. So once again, that's number zero. So now we're on to number one. I'll just change my notes, so bear with me. So for number one, we want forward four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then five, one, two, 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 three, four, five, and one. Here we are, that's that one. So that was number one. Now we're on to number two. And adjust my notes again. So for number two, we want forward five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two, up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one. Like so. So that's that section there. That's zero to two done. Now we're on to number three and adjust my notes again. Bear with me. So for number three we want forward five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then uh, three, one, two, three. And then four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two, and then up four, one, two, three, four, and one. Like so. Now we're on to number four. And bear with me a second. So for number four, we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Up two, one, two. And then up three. One, two, one. Three. There we go. That's that one done. Um, now we're on to number five. So for number five, we want. Bear with me. Number five, we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then five. One, two, three, four, five, and then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two, and then up two, one, two. 
There we are, that's that one. So that's number five done. Now we're on to number six. Number six, we want forward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, and then three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. One, two. And then one. There. Like that. So that's those rows there. It's taking shape already. That's not too bad. Now we're on to number seven. And just my notes again. So for number seven, we want forward seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, is that four fours? Uh, no, one more four, sorry. One, two, three, four. Then well, that's four rows of four. And then three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then one on top. Like that. That's that section there. And there's a dog barking outside, which is really annoying. Um, now I move on to number eight. So bear with me a second. So for number eight, we want forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just double check, make sure that's four fours. One, two, three, four. That's fine. And then we want three. One, two, three. And then four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And there we are, that's that one done. So now we're on to number nine. Sorry, I keep yawning. <laughs> so for number nine, we want forward nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, is that four rows of four? I can't remember. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is it? Four. No. One more. Sorry, miscounted. So one, two, three, four. So that's four rows of four. Sorry. And then we want uh, three. One, two, three. And then three rows of two. One, two. One, two. One, two. <sighs> And that's that one done. So that's number nine. Now we're on to number ten. So for number ten, we want uh, forward nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And then two. One, two, and two. One, two. There we go. That's number ten done. So we're over halfway. Now we're on to number eleven. So for number 11 we want forward 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 2 rows of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, excuse me, and then 2 rows of two rows of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 3 rows of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then two, one, two. There we go. That's that one there. We've got a gap in the middle. That's no, that's more gap up there. That's no problem. We'll fill that in later on. Um, now we're on to number twelve. 
and to adjust my notes. So for number 12 we want forward 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 3 rows of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then two rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then three rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three. And that's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to number thirteen. This is taking forever, I know, but apologise. So for number 13, just adjust my notes again. So for 13 we want forward 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we want 4 rows of 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we want 2 rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. That's that one there. So they're all the same height, making sure. That's fine. Now we're on to number 14. Jump down to this. So number 14, we want uh, forward 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 4 rows of 8 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 sixes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 3 rows of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 3 rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's that one there, that's fine. Now we're on to number 15, and we're getting near the end, I promise. So for number 15, I just adjust my notes again. Uh, for number 15, we want 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 4 rows of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And there we go, that's that done. Now we're on to number 16. So down to the bottom, just adjust my notes. Do, 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 do. So for number 16, what we want, oh, damn it. My notes are all twisted. Right, for number 16, we want to remove this block here and then count from there. We're going to add 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 4 rows of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, is that 4 eights? 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I just count these to make sure. So it was 12, 9, 10, and then 8, 8, 8, 8. That's fine. So that was the 4 eights. And then after that, we want 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. And that's that one there. Now we're on to number 17. 
which is this one here, and adjust my notes again. Uh, oh, come on. So for number 17 we want uh, 10, so forward 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 4 rows of 8 again, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then four. One, two, three, four. And then five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then five again. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's that one. That's fine. Now we go down to uh, number eighteen. Sorry, I just adjust my notes again. So for number 18, what we want to do is go from here again. So remove that block and go from there. So we want 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 10 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 4 rows of 8 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the same height again. That's fine. And then lastly, on to number 19. Thank Christ. Thank the Lord. Thank everyone. Number 19, we want forward 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, hang on, and then 9 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 rows of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that should be the same height, and that's fine. So that was all 19 rows of the bow done, on one side at least. So you do the same thing on the other side now. Or if you're doing well, then just copy it. But it should look something like that anyway in theory so what I'm going to do now do my usual thing is go on the inside and just fill in the gaps so there's not going to be many gaps with this one because it's a fairly compact bow uh, but I'll try and do as much as I can anyway so do there, do there, do there, do there, there there, 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 up there, there there, there, there and just sort of get the idea of how this goes with most of my ships, there's usually quite a big gap between each section, but because of this one being quite uh, squat and tiny, uh, there's not many gaps, so it's a fairly easy one to fill in. Until you get to the back end, where it's all a bit bigger. So I'll just do this as quick as I can. Anyway, you get the idea, the gaps are all filling in. And when the gaps are filled in, it should look a bit better. I've still got the other, ones, the other gaps to fill in, but overall it should look something like that. An absolute mess, but it's a thing nonetheless. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I fill in the gaps, and then we can move on to the stern. So, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've filled in all the gaps, so it should, like I say, look something like that. So I'm going to do the other side now. I'm going to quickly copy-paste the other side. And the uh, hull should be done in that area. So copy from there. So we do uh, copy, flip, paste. And there we go. That's both sides done. And the uh, bow should sort of look like a big V from the front. And it uh, don't look too bad. So that's the uh, front half done. So now I need to go down to the back end and do the same thing again. Which is going to be a bit different because we've got the propeller area to do and it's, the ship is a bit more, well, a different shape at the back here. So we're going to go right the way to the back end, to the tip of the keel at the back. And we'll sort of start there. So we're going to start at zero 
And what we're going to do there on zero, we're going to build up 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then uh, back 5 or forward 5. Whatever I say forward, I mean back, okay? It's just a way I've written things down. So, uh, so it's up 12 and then forward 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then up, uh, then we want three, sorry, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that. So it should be shaped like that. So I just measured to make that, should be 15 in height, including the keel. So I just make sure that is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's fine. So that's the height of our hull, and it should look something like that. All right, now we're going to move on to number one. And remember it's both the same it's the same on both sides so it's symmetrical so for number one we want forward two and then two and then up six one two three four five six and then three one two three and then two and two and then forward seven one two three four five six seven and then three one two three and three one two three and there we are that's that one done so that was section one now we're on to number two so bear with me a second. Number two, we want forward three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then up six again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, two again, one, two, and forward two, one, two, and then forward seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three, one, two, three, and it should look something like that. And if you're doing both sides at the same time, it'll look, it'll look a lot better, you know, it's just because I'm doing only half, it uh, looks a bit odd. So now we're on to number three, just adjust my notes, bear with me. Right, for number three, we want forward three. One, two, three. And then uh, two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And then up five, one, two, three, four, five. And then three, one, two, three. And then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then forward two, one, two, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So that's that one there. Now we're on to number four. So bear with me a second. Number four, we want forward three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, two again, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, five rows of two up. So one, two, one, two. One two, one two, one two, and then forward two, one two, like that. So the the hull is gradually taking shape. And so if you look at it from straight on, it, the top bit will sort of become a bit of a bulbous area, but it's, it's hard to it's hard to sort of explain that and sort of visualise it at the moment. Um, so that was number four anyway. So now we're on to section five, and adjust my notes again. Bear with me. The bloody paper clip stuck. So for number five, we want forward six, one two three four five six. And then two, one, two, two again, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then up three rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then back uh, forward two, one, two. Like I say, whenever I say forward, I mean back, okay? So that's that. Um, now we're on to number six. So for section six, bear with me a second. Section six, we want forward seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then up three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then forward two, one, two, like that. So it's the same height again. Now we're on to number seven. So for number seven, we want forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. Three again, one, two, three. And then three rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, one, two. And then one, that's that. And that's the same height again. Now we're on to number eight. So for number eight, we want uh, forward eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then we want four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. 
and then three rows of two so one two one two one two and then forward two one two like that now we're on to number nine just get down to that and adjust my notes again so for number nine we want forward ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then four one two three four and then three one two three three again one two three and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, five rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And up two, one, two. And then up three rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then forward two, one, two. That says a lot of twos in that one. I do apologize. So that's the same height anyway. So now we're on to number 10, section 10. And we want forward 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then two rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then three rows of 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that's 3, 3, 3. And then two, uh, three rows of 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And then up 2, 1, 2. And then three rows of two up, so one, two, one, two, one, two, and then forward two, one, two. That's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to number 11. So we're getting there, it's taking its time, but we're getting there. So for number 11, we want forward 11, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then forward two, one, two. And that's the same height again. All right, now we move on to number 12. And I'm getting bored of this already. So for number 12, we want forward 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two rows of three. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And up two. One, two. And then up uh, another two rows of two. So one, two, one, two. And then forward two. One, two. The same height again, and now we're on to row number 13 or section 13 rather. And just my notes again. So for 13, we want 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then two rows of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, three rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then uh, four rows of two. So uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three. Like so. So we've gone from going across, up, and across. We're now going just across, or just in flat rows, rather than going flat up, flat. If you know what I mean. Uh, so now we're on to number fourteen. Just my notes, bear with me. My bloody paper clip gets getting stuck. Alright, for number 14, we want forward 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then three rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then two rows of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to number 15. So I change my notes again. I'm running out of space here on the page. So for number 15, we want row of 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then three rows of three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to number 16. So adjust my notes again. So for number 16, we want to remove that block there and replace it with 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then, oh blimey, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 rows of 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then two rows of five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then six rows of three. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And that's the same height. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're on to number 17. So we're getting near the end here. Thank Christ. So for number 17, we want 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, oh, let me go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 rows of 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 2 rows of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 4 rows of 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And there we go. That's that one, yeah. Now we're on to number 18. My voice is starting to die now. I really need a drink. Right, for number 18, we want forward 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then one, two, three, four, four rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there we go. That's that one. Now, lastly, on to number nineteen. Thank the Lord. <sighs> Alright, just change my notes. So for number 19, we want forward 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then uh, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. And that should be the same height as the rest. And it is. And that is all the sections of the stern done. So once again, I'll just go to the back and see how, how it sort of curves outwards. And I don't look too bad. Not brilliant, but it's not too bad. So you just want to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, from 0 to, well I've already done 0 so from 1 to 19 and then fill in the gaps so I should quickly do a few and then I move on so like I say just fill in the gaps and I'll do a jump cut and move on to the next bit so everything should be fine so do one more section So, so that's the first few filled in. So what I'm going to do, I shall do a jump cut and fill in the rest. And I'm also going to fill in the section between the two 19s. So the big gap between 19 here and the 19 at the front will be the, basically the side wall. I'll fill that in as well. And then uh, we'll move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've filled in all the gaps of the hull and also the side panel on the, uh, well, the big side wall of the uh, hull. So it should look something like that. But I've not filled in this gap here between section 0 and 1 because this is where the propeller will go. So I didn't mention that at the beginning, but uh, that's where the propeller will sit. Uh, we'll add that later on because it's uh, well, not a difficult design, but uh, we'll add that later on. And I've only I've really done one side so far as well. So I'm just going to quickly copy to the other side. So we do uh, copy, 
uh, flip and then paste and there we go that's both sides done and now we have a hull which should from the back end should look something like that in theory um, so that is the draft of the ship it's just a shame that this is all going to be below the water but never mind and uh, if you want to you can actually fill in this gap here as well so you've got a gap between the two section one so I just uh, basically fill in that whole gap like so there will be a bit more detail going here when the propeller goes in so just seal that, seal that area off there like that and uh, it will look fine so that's that area done there and that's the hull pretty much done with the draft anyway so the last job for today is just to fill in the bottom which is the floor so we use the fill tool so fill uh, 251 by 14 by 20,000 or 2,000 and that's one side and then the same for the other side and there we go that's the floor all filled in and it should look something like that so that's the draft of the Eddie Fitzgerald done and uh, there we go so as per usual though if you're going to be designing this or building this as part of a downloadable project or a video on YouTube or anything like that then of course don't forget to uh, credit for the design that's all I ask and uh, we'll go with it uh, for that so yeah it doesn't look too bad it looks a bit odd but it's not too bad so that's part one done part two will be of course the main hull of the ship and like I said at the beginning it will be in my own colour scheme basically red and terracotta um, but uh, you can do any colours you want for the official colours so it's up to you so uh, part two like I said will be the main hull of the ship and then after that be uh, anything really so uh, we'll leave it at that so this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing and I shall return in part two so uh, bye for now <laughs>